to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Today I'm going to be uh, treating some of these hives with oxalic acid vapors. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I have a vaporizer here that I got uh, online. Uh, Oxyvape.com is where I got it. It was uh, probably about 80 bucks. I think all it is is a diesel glow plug and hooked to an uh, little piece of aluminum that they machined out. So for these small hives, they take one scoop of the acid, and the acid is actually uh, oxalic acid, and it's uh, solid crystals. So when you heat it uh, to a certain temperature, whatever this gets to, uh, it goes from a solid to a gas. It, it Actually it melts it, it boils, and it just goes away and it goes into the hive as a gas and then the gas as it cools will gather on the all in through the hive and on the bees and it's kind of like a powder and that kills the varroa mites so when you do this so the way this works you hook it to a 12 volt battery you leave it on for two and a half minutes off for two minutes and then you're supposed to keep the hive sealed for 10 minutes which that seems like forever to me. I don't know if that's really necessary. I know you want to keep all the fumes in there and to let them all settle out inside the hive. You don't want them going anywhere else. Also, this stuff is pretty toxic. It's a, like an acid vapor. So be sure you have a cartridge mask that has the uh, for acid vapors right there you can see and that's the yellow cartridges so be sure you have that on if you got a big breath of this it would probably not be good for you so with that I want to get started and show you how I do this they make another uh, there's a newer version now it's called uh, Pro Vape and instead of being 12 volts, it's a standard household, 110 volts. So you have to have an inverter or a, a generator to use it. But it's probably 10, 20 times faster than doing this. A buddy of mine in southeast Oklahoma, Oki Rob, he has one. So uh, check him out. He's probably going to be doing a video on that. So uh, it, uh, it puts the vapors out a lot faster and uh, does a lot better job. It's a lot easier to use. But the downside to that is they're 300 bucks, and this was 80. So uh, when I got into this, I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with this method or not. So I thought I'd try it with this cheaper one. But I probably will get one of those Pro Vapes uh, one of these days. So let's get started. Here's the chemical right here. Uh, you just I just use the wood bleach it's oxalic acid it's not laboratory grade but it does the job okay the way I do this I'm gonna try and put these two little blocks of wood up at the entrance leave a little gap I'll slide this in with the chemical on it and plug it in and then time it so uh, you'll be able to see it here So I'm going to get my uh, mask on and get started. Thank you. 
Okay, that's been two minutes and 30 seconds. Disconnect the battery. Now we do another two minutes. If you notice, the bees that are coming out have a white coating on them. See how white that bee is? I can also hear them fanning inside there. I've never done this when the bees were this active before, so I never really heard or read anything about that. I don't think it's good to keep that completely shut up because all these bees are going to be gathered outside here. You saw earlier what a traffic jam it was causing. See how light colored that bee is? He's covered with that oxalic acid vapor. So the whole inside of that hive is going to turn white like that. Everything in there. That's what kills the Varroa mites. So there, that's two minutes with it unhooked. So now I can go to the next hive. So it, the instructions say to keep it closed up for another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna basically put these blocks of wood back on there like they were and take these over there to the next one. So basically that's it. That's how you treat uh, your hives for varroa mites with oxalic acid vaporizer. Let me pull this out and I'll show you what it looks like. you can see there all that white powder I put in there is evaporated there's a little bit left right in here that wasn't in the burner but that's how it works so that was a single deep hive so I filled it half full this next one's a double deep so I'll uh, I'll fill the thing completely full and that's supposed to treat a double deep hive so that's how you did it hit like and subscribe if you would and I'll catch you on the next video